Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is the Dutch 2015. In this episode I'm going to try and explain uh, how to set up a manager and use him. And uh, yeah, the manager is a dwarf which can automate a lot of things. If you use the, it has its own menu with UM. But uh, first you need to set up a manager before you can do anything with that. So let's do that. And a manager counts as a noble, so this counts as a little bit of a noble preview as well. Now I prepared a little room down here and we'll have to place some items in there for the manager to work at. And uh, let's first create them. That's uh, done at a masons for example. Um, no, let's, we'll have enough door for now. And um, what you need for a minimum is a table and a chair. That's a T and a C. And uh, also, um, actually that's the minimum, he just he doesn't even need a bed there. Um, but he will be a noble, he will be someone doing an important job, so he'll like more stuffs. So let's create that as well and place that in there right away. What he uh, would also like in there is a bed. Well, let's uh, the carpenter uh, and you may just make a bed with A, B. Uh, that's all the wooden items you need, the rest you can just make from stone or whatever. And uh, the other things are things like a weapon rack, that's uh, A, A. A weapon rack, that's A, W. Uh, he wants a cabinet, that's F, A, F. He wants uh, two coffers usually, that's A, H. Uh, let's do that again. And let's see, does he need something else? Uh, that should be about it. And well, to make the room worth a little bit more, he doesn't need a statue, but uh, he'll like some statues. So let's make some statues as well. So here we have a nice little noble starter kit. Making tables, thrones, armor stand, weapon rack, cabinet, two coffers and some statues. And we queued up a bed as well. And uh, it's already prepared, so we should just be able to place them. Made hotkey here with uh, shift F2. And uh, let's place them in a room. Now what I like to do is do that yeah, do the same setup every time basically. So I've, I've dug out a room here, by the way, using the uh, designation system. So I dig this out first. This was designation 1, here this is 7. And uh, well, let's make a room here. Let's start with the door. And uh, let's also DBH the room. So we have just the floor. Um, now let's build the things we just made, like a table. I like to put that in the middle doesn't really matter where you put that and it looks like I'm out of chairs so I didn't prepare well enough but back in a second okay he is uh, about done with his order so uh, let's play go continue placing all the stuff so where was I? I placed a table in the middle um, let's do it again uh, to make things a little bit easier for me as well so I like to start with the table it, I, I place it in the middle here it doesn't really need to be uh, you could also press X, X here to expand the list again. And this way you get some control over which item you exactly put there. And then you could like maybe color scheme it, like making them out of, all out of the granite. Which looks nice, but which the, dwar the dwarves like better items better. And um, there's quality levels in Dwarf Fortress. And yeah, the weirder this symbol is, basically the better the item is. So this is the most weird symbol here. Uh, we'll place that here. Uh, now we have a, a nice looking table there. Let's put a throne next to that. Well, we only have this granite throne, so let's place that there. Oh yeah, don't forget the buttons, Doc. So uh, that is B, T for a table. X to open it, then press enter. B, C for a chair. Uh, well, the one only was one well, there, so that's fine. Now let's place a bed. Let's just uh, B from the build list, or B, B. And just, yeah, let's get another one. Uh, this is one of the better items here, I think, with the three lines. So let's place a good bed in there. Then I usually place a cabinet in the other corner, using escape. And a cabinet is, uh, well, your dwarves can st uh, store st stuff in there. It's not, uh, not necessary, but uh, they like one. And um, yeah, let's put a good microcline cabinet in there. Now, what he also wants is coffers, that's H, uh, container, uh, place that somewhere, with X you can select one. Now in that list with coffers there are also bags, which you can place down and 
the dwarves will be fine with the silk bag, but those can also be used for other things. So let's stick with the uh, rock buffers, like a granite coffer here, for example. Uh, now what else was left? The, the armor stand and the weapon rack. Let's do that in the middle. We'll do the armor stand left. And uh, that's A. That's uh, just B A. Uh, the weapon rack is B R, or uh, just R when you're in that list. Put the weapon rack in there. And that's about it. Uh, well, we'll also build some statues to raise the worth of the room. And that's BS. So let's place one here at least. Um, let's put a high quality statue in there. Okay. Now once that is all set up. Then uh, you, we can actually set up the manager himself. So uh, let's, well, let's do that now. Because there's actually no real reason to wait for that and uh, we set up a manager using the noble screen that's n for the noble screen here your expedition leader is probably uh, so set in there already that you have that from the start what we're talking about in this video is the manager and uh, we need to give that job to someone um, and yeah we just got to make a white wave of migrants and well no one has any elephant skills anyway so we just give it to any old dude which is doesn't have any good skills like this Miller you are now the manager um, let's see and uh, yeah he requires some things and uh, let's make sure he'll keep his uh, day focused on managing and uh, let's find him unfortunately I can't name him um, so it was uh, Iton Omerber the manager let's find him in the dwarf therapist he should be in here somewhere, especially if I select the migration wave. He's probably... yeah, here he is already. Uh, he doesn't have any skills, luckily. He's a miller, it's useless. It isn't in here that he has the job, actually. It's, um, it's a noble job, which isn't actually listed in the Dwarf Therapist, but I know that if I keep things like construction on then uh, he will not do that job properly. Also here he does some fishing. I don't want you to do that. You, you can do some milling as well, but I want you to focus on the managing. Otherwise, uh, yeah, he won't do his job properly usually. <sighs> uh, looks like in the meanwhile, the dwarves have been bringing in the items here. And uh, once that is set, well, the, the basics are set now. Let's create a room out of this. Let's uh, create a room out of the bed, the table, and the chair. Just press uh, Q, then R on the bed. Plus to make it the old room. Uh, you can do that with everything, basically. And you make rooms out of them. And just do it out of the table, the chair, and the, um, and the bed. Because that's what he'll need. Then uh, we need to set it to him, and now we can just press Q again to go over him, then A. Uh, yeah, here he is in the list, Eton, the manager, press enter on him, and uh, now we've set this as a bedroom for him. Gonna do the same with the table, with the chair, we assign it to Eton, the manager, and the same here with the table. Now, those are now his rooms, this, this whole room is from him. And uh, you could make separate rooms out of this as well. I'm doing everything, I'm sticking everything in just one room. Your dwarves like it better if they have separate rooms for that, but uh, fuck them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, now, if I check the noble list again, you can see uh, here in the noble BN noble menu that what is required was red, but now it's white. And that's because he has the in Wallace office, quarters, dining room, yes, two chests, a cabinet, a weapon rack, and an armor stand. He's happy now. And now he uh, should be able to do his job of managing. And uh, yeah, let's start using that. He can use that with UM. And uh, now we can give like mass orders here. Uh, that's, that's very good to like, th keep things like brewing up. So I'd like to start off with like brewing a couple of drinks from plants. And uh, there's a max of like 30 with these orders. And uh, so what I'm doing here, I just added one. Is, um, it's hard. You start with UM, uh, then we give a new order to the list with Q, then you can type in whatever you want to do. In my case, I just type in brew, uh, press enter, so it's okay to do that in plants. 
then I type in the quality, um, I usually type 33 because that will go over the max of 30. And uh, press enter again and hey, you're done. Well, let's do that another couple of times, brew, and 33, 33 well, 44 works as well. As long as it's over the max, it'll just go to 30. Doesn't matter which number you enter. Well, now uh, that'll keep our dwarves brewing. And let's uh, also make sure they're making food. And uh, let's first show you what happens when this, this goes through. Um, well, maybe, no, we'll, we'll queue up some more things first because there's more things to be queued up. So this is what I did, I said, the brewer, they'll, they'll show, up, show up here soon if there were enough plants. Uh, quick check. Am I brewing my plants or something? Uh, Yeah, I should, and I should have enough plume helmets in here. Yeah, so they should just brew. No idea what the option is right here now. Hm. Probably because I don't have barrels. So let's queue up an order for that. We don't have barrels, so we'll make some wooden barrels. So, uh, you, um, to go to the manager, queue for a new order. I want a wood barrel. And, uh, give me 30 of those. That's fine for now. Now we can also ah, make it uh, higher in the list. Looks like the manager is starting to doing his job already. He needs to validate the order and give it to the dwarves. And he has done with three of the orders already. Now uh, let's raise the priority of this one by pressing either P a couple of times or T to put it at the top. And uh, now we'll have an order to get some barrels. Let's see. Yeah, looks like the order has become true. The manager has given the order, the, the order to this uh, still to well, start brewing drinks. Well, let's do the same for the kitchens. Uh, let's make some new meals. Let's queue them again, uh, queue for a new order. I think it's probably best to start with, uh, you can just type in meal to get all the options. Just easy meals are fine. Um, and let's do that actually a couple of times. So we'll be having a whole lot of food in a fortress. And there we go. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of the manager. You set them up like that. This now will have room. And uh, yeah, here he is doing his job. He's on. If I press G, he's uh, actually managing the work orders. And uh, yeah, once that is done, those orders, those jobs will land up in the, the relevant workshops. Um, maybe we'll do some extras as well. Let's see, like UM, some other things I need. Uh, well, I probably need more beds in the future, so I'll make some more beds. I probably need some more doors. Um, but I want rock doors, so I'll make some rock doors. Never can have enough doors. Uh, there. <laughs> That's 90 doors, that will keep us uh, set with doors for a while. But you can also add up like the things we added uh, here earlier to that list. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, one order of doors is enough. Uh, let's uh, set up. Uh, let's prepare for the other noble rooms, like uh, with the items we made for this little room. And uh, queue up that. Like we, we all want to make them out of rock, so we'll make a rock uh, armor stand. Rock armor, I type. Let's make uh, ten of them. That's fine. Uh, same with weapons racks. I need ten of those. Um, same with tables. Make uh, oh, not iron tables. Oh yeah. If you want to remove one, go to the option with the enters, uh, barrel keys, just press R to remove it. And uh, looks like I made this one wrong as well. So let's take rock, rock weapon, 10 of them, rock table, then rock chair, or uh, rock throne, as that's called, then rock cabinet, then rock uh, coffer. There's 20 of those, you don't want 2 of those. And uh, yeah, now I can queue up and use the manager, and they'll they'll build that. Uh, one uh, note, though, is that they can cancel orders which you've already given. Like I had the order here to craft rocks forever, and let's we'll do that again. And if you give any order which is done at a craft dwarf, it will add this to this list. And if you want to do a job forever then you probably shouldn't use the manager for that. Um, 
Unfortunately, you can't give tell the manager to do one thing forever. So, um, my tip is to use it for things like the carpenter and the mason and the brews and the stills, but don't use it for the um, uh, the craft dwarfs, for example. And using it at the metal dwarfs is sometimes you don't want to use it. Sometimes you don't want to use it at the smith, for example. Okay, well, um, now you should know how to use the manager, and I think that's enough for this video. Uh, it's been way too long. I'll uh, see you guys later. Hey guys, here's a quick little note to show you guys my Patreon. It's a Patreon is a site where you can give money per month to artists like me, so we get a little bit of more stable income. If you were so nice to do that, you can also get yourself dwarfed. If you pay uh, $1 per month, you can get yourself on the dwarfing list. If you pay 10 you can give me a suggestion for a game to play. I already played uh, FTL because of that. And uh, oh yeah, here's the dwarfing list. There's some dwarfs in here, so I need a whole lot more. So yeah, please sign up on the Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com slash dfvitouch.